So let's look at a very, very common hormone imbalance I see amongst women, and that is low progesterone. It's one of our key hormones that we produce as women, and when we're fertile, it's produced by the egg. As we go through menopause and we don't have any more eggs, other parts of the body start to produce it. Now, if there's a lag, we will potentially suffer symptoms of low progesterone. I'll just show you what it looks like on a saliva test. You can see here the second one down, progesterone. Ideally, we want it around 800. This woman's was only 131. Now I can I actually, I've just realized I've I've left a gap because when women have low progesterone, I should have put the number one thing if they're going through menopause is flushing. Flushing, broken sleep, feeling that um, out of balance, just not feeling right at all. If you're having periods, they might be heavier, erratic, shorter. So a shorter cycle, you might only have two to three weeks between having a period. If you've got clots in your periods, that can be due to low progesterone. Certainly premenstrual syndrome is associated with having low progesterone. Uh, progesterone in itself is a very calming hormone. So if there's any sort of flightiness or anxiety, it may be due to low progesterone, poor skin, acne, low sex drive, low energy. Um, it, it's To me, it's a, such an important hormone. It's my fourth favourite hormone and it just brings everything into balance and it plays a very important role with estrogen and it keeps estrogen from feeling too high so we definitely need robust good levels of progesterone a lot of women simply don't have it now what are some of the solutions that you can look at doing if you um, do a saliva test with me and you find that your progesterone levels are subpar well i'd be you can go to a doctor and get bioidentical hormones or you know um, progesterone pills but really do your due diligence on it ask them the side effects of having synthetics or bioidentical progesterone. It's not always the safest route to go. And if your body's not producing enough progesterone, there's a reason for it. Are you run down? Are you not eating correctly? Are you doing too much high impact exercise? So I know that some of these things will make a difference. Often it will need a consultation because once we've got our, you know, lifestyle on our head, we'll go, 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 and that'll drain, 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 drain your progesterone. So some of the foods um, I think of when trying to lift someone's progesterone are those really, you know, warming uh, uh, vegetables that might have come out of the earth. Um, the, the Japanese call them macro. They're, they're yangi, they're, they're sweet potatoes, they're carrots. Um, you might think about casseroles. That, that nurtures your body and helps potentially raise progesterone. Generally, over the 20 odd years that I've been helping women with low progesterone, I do find that they do a lot and they're burnt out a lot of the time. So looking at things that are gentle exercise, not hardcore, not pushing yourself, because that is not going to enable your body the opportunity to catch up if it's low on estrogen um, progesterone. And similarly, meditation has been shown to be very beneficial if you're trying to catch up on your progesterone. Now, if you want to know more if you'd like to know what your hormone results are yielding you can order today on sambopatrick.com backslash products sams hyphen client and that will allow you to order your own saliva test you'll be able to post in a hair sample for me and a 60 minute session now if you don't want the those the hair test and the um, you know, the whole cook, the, the whole package, you can go to the website. It's down there on the left-hand side and see what other options are available for you. But I really like the hair test as well because often we'll find that there's a nutrient, a key nutrient that you need in order to manufacture good, robust levels of progesterone. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please like, love, subscribe, share with your girlfriends and leave a five-star review. Thanks for now. Bye.